Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create this nice scene with the wolf, moon and hills here in Adobe Illustrator and as you can see this moon has a very strange pattern and because it's used a watercolor background as the main feel of this moon. So sounds amazing and let's start creating so let's start with a new document Control n command n on your mac and i'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080 click create and first of all let's grab a circle click l to start with the circle and i want to uh, click once on my canvas to bring up the menu in open menu i want to type 266 266 pixels click ok yes we have our initial circle so for this circle i'm gonna make it duplicate and notch it down so i'm gonna select uh, hold alt and hold shift and i'm gonna push this duplicate notch it at around 40 it should intersect around 40% of this initial circle, like so, just like so. So, so, uh, so far so good, and let's grab our watercolor background, and uh, this time we gonna walk, we gonna walk with either free peak or with the Victizia, and I believe I I'll grab this uh, back down on the Victizi, so let me... And uh, I use this background, orange watercolor background, so uh, it uh, here, I provide you with the link in the description. So, uh, free that load, wait for uh, 5 seconds to in order to take the access to this file, and I think uh, I have it here. So. When you have this background, as you can see, it's now a group. So ungroup it several times, then release the clipping mask, ungroup it again, take it in group. So and bring it here on your illustration, and uh, let's place it on the new layer. I'm gonna give it a new layer and bring this uh, layer to the back. Then I'm gonna resize this background like so, and uh, I'm gonna flip it horizontally or simply rotate it at 180 degrees. So uh, my main point to put all the yellow colors in the top and all the uh, more saturated uh, orangey colors. Uh, put it on the back, uh, on the bottom, uh, uh, near here. So let's select this one and this one, and I'm gonna make clipping mask, just like so. And now I can really control the amount of reddish and yellow color here. Just double click, select your. The ground and move. Brilliant. Uh, so far so good. Let's uh, convert this. Uh, let's first shift X to swap fill and stroke and delete the stroke, leaving only a black fill. And then I'm gonna slice uh, this uh, circle. So I wanna grab the line segment tool so uh, grab the line segment tool and draw a line and this line should let's uh, work with the uh, outline mode ctrl y command y and this line should be on the bottom of our main uh, of our moon right so ctrl y command y i place it on the bottom and then I want to select both this uh, uh, black uh, circle and line, grab my shape builder tool, click shift M and uh, slice this part. Then grab the uh, selection tool and delete unnecessary uh, parts 
uh, here. Uh, then I'm gonna walk just like so. Uh, firstly, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option key and Shift key and hold left mouse button key and make a copy of this uh, semicircle uh, and move it to the left. Uh, to around, uh, well, um, to around, uh, let's say, 50 pixels, right? So they uh, have this uh, free uh, part here, and we need to go to the properties and uh, grab this and uh, click uh, minus front, of course. But before we do this, we need to duplicate initial background. So. So this is our initial, I'm gonna create a duplicate, Control c Control f then select this duplicate and this uh, shifted semicircle and uh, click to minus round, of course. So with this uh, semicircle selected, I'm gonna give it a gradient and I'm gonna just grab this guy here and place it like so. So this is a very uh, strange color. Let me show you the gradient itself. So I have, let me uh, undock this uh, panel, FF, CA, CD uh, as my primary uh, color and uh, it's uh, like a kind of a apricot color, like, uh, right? Uh, so FFCACD 7D, sorry, and uh, it has 40% of opacity. And then uh, I have a white to 0% of opacity. And I have, uh, of course, my gradient arranged just like so. So apricot color on the top of the hill, and uh, down here uh, goes my white uh, color down to the bottom left. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just now rob this color from here and then arrange it just like uh, so uh, you see in the picture. Uh, so far so good, so far so good, uh, very nice. Let's go and add uh, then, uh, group them, I'm gonna group them and create another duplicate and holding Alt and shifting it to the right. And uh, for this duplicate, I also want to uh, make it smaller to around uh, probably one third of the size, so a little bit more smaller. And uh, place it uh, here. And then I want to place another duplicate here and uh, size it down to around one uh, half of the initial uh, size. So, uh, so far so good, but as you can see, we have this harsh uh, ha uh, highlight, and uh, because it's on the back of the top hill, I don't, uh, I don't think it should be this way. We need to, uh, uh, we need to decrease the transparency of this highlight. So just on this segment, you see, I'm gonna set the opacity to 50%, so introduce a little bit of uh, transparency here. So, uh, so far, uh, so good. Let me uh, place it here and uh, align it to the bottom. Very nice. So, it's our li lion uh, part, and for this lion, you can uh, you can just uh, find a uh, image to trace. It's very easy, you just need to wolf and uh, uh, type the wolf and moon. And for this line, I, I have it here. You can trace any image again. Uh, I believe a uh, soul. Let's, I'm gonna position it here. It's absolutely black now, you see. And let's uh, now manage the highlight on this line and I'm gonna show you a little trick 
that I used to create the highlights here on this irregular object. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make a duplicate and then grab the scissors tool. And I'm gonna slice, uh, well, I'm gonna slice this segment. So I'm gonna start with this uh, point on uh, its back uh, and then it goes here and right to the bottom of uh, his uh, forward uh, leg, uh, his right uh, leg. Uh, like so and now swap fill and stroke uh, you see it here and uh, delete another part but uh, okay uh, for this uh, part I also want to make a highlight grab the scissors tool again make the highlight on the uh, forward part of uh, his uh, back leg here on this uh, left leg uh, on this left leg, okay, and uh, probably we can also uh, create a highlight uh, here, but it depends, guys. I don't uh, want to bother you with these details. I think you can manage to uh, make your own mind and create a wonderful illustration, and I highly encourage you to uh, share this illustration on the uh, Twitter and Instagram. Just tag me on the comments so very nice uh, let's go further and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab the airdropper tool and uh, slice and uh, rub of this gradient again guys it's apricot to white and white is absolutely transparent then I swap fill and stroke you see it's only on stock and uh, now I'm gonna grab the, uh, go to the Vids profile, Vids profile, and set the Vids profile number one. You see it here. So, uh, Vids profile number one, what it does is actually render the end of my, our, our lines to nothing. So, there is no uh, stroke weight here and here, but it uh, has a very decent stroke uh, height in the middle and uh, this is what we actually want the next thing is to click shift w or um, and grab the width tool that we wanna work very heavily now but before we do this guys before we do this i just want to make okay Okay, let's let's walk. Let's uh, let's make it grab here. So let's start here in this uh, kind of uh, a node and then this node and uh, What I'm gonna do guys I hold uh, Left mouse button key and I hold alt or option key on your on my keyboard. So uh, to control only one side of this stroke if uh, if you simply hold left mouse button key it controls both sides but i want to control only one so i want to use alt or option key on my keyboard so next guys i'm gonna create here so i basically move along my stroke find every single node i have here and Notch every single node that extends the uh, wolf's body. You see, I notch it down so I render it to nothing. This is how I work with these strokes. Uh, then, uh, guys, I also want to work uh, here as well. Uh, brilliance and uh, well, okay. Now we have uh, something, but it's something. It has a very, you see, inconsistent. We have a barely visible uh, stroke uh, here on the bottom, but we have very decent on the top. And uh, to this, to remedy this, we need to go to the uh, gradient panel. So go to the Windows gradient. Or oh, what is it? Uh, Windows gradient and let's work with this panel. So we have uh, your stroke uh, on the top um, here. So 
uh, what we have uh, on my, our gradient panel. We have uh, apply gradient within stroke. You see these uh, three options, and we need to just simply grab this option across the stroke. Uh, third in our row, and now it uh, renders uh, like so. But I believe believe uh, we need to also reverse our gradient. Our brilliance. Now we need to. Uh, work a little bit further uh, to introduce our stroke uh, in certain positions so uh, just like so um, and uh, this is uh, why I decide to render a bit uh, pour a bit more uh, opacity here on the white let's say to 20 uh -huh. And uh, pour a little bit more opacity to the apricot color, let's say to 60. And it renders to this nice color. So 60 here, 20 uh, here on the white. So, and this is how, guys, we can create this composition. Last but not least. Last but not least, I want to notch the down this moon. This moon with the mask. Uh, and I want to select the mask itself and push it like so. Just one point on the bottom. Hide it here. So, there is it. There is your final result. It looks very well and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Don't forget to stick to tutorials.net. Join my newsletter to receive more tutorials like this on vector tips in Adobe Illustrator and Gravity Designer. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.